back to my channel. I want to talk about the last episode of Inmate to Roommate with Mark and Elisa and Beta. And I want to talk about a recent interview that Auntie's Advice did with Beta and Annalisa. They touched on some of what we've seen so far this season and shared new details that I had no idea about, like the fact that Veda and Annalisa have been housing inmates for years now. Apparently, they really like serving their community. So Annalisa and Veda start all these different houses and they would fix up these houses and Annalisa would hire somebody and make them the leader of that house and they would run like these transitional living houses. So once people get out of prison, they have somewhere to go. Beta used to work for the school district. He was a special ed teacher and he just retired a few years ago. And now that explains why he's so understanding and patient with Mark and made that whole comment about, oh, you got to give him 10 chances like the special ed kids get. And apparently they both have worked with the at-risk youth and youth who are in foster care. So they are very familiar with helping inmates get housing. This is just the first actual inmate that's moving into their actual physical house. And Veda and Annalisa were asked if Mark was the worst person out of all the people they've helped. And Veda actually revealed that there's actually one guy that was worse. Apparently he was helping out this kid. He was in the foster system. But once they turn 18, they're just kind of thrown to the wolves and left to their own devices. And this kid ended up dating this girl and then he ended up unaliving her and then went and unalived another girl which was like his ex-girlfriend and he just went on a whole rampage and was arrested apparently they had even helped mark's uncle at one point when he was younger and set him and his family up with a place to stay Annalisa and Mark have always been all about helping others, but they said most of the time when they do a good deed, they do it in private and don't tell the whole world about it. But apparently everyone in the community knows that when they need help, Annalisa and Veda are the go-to people. Now let's get into this last episode. So it starts off with the producers knocking on Annalisa and Veda's door. Annalisa opens the door and I guess the producers are there to film them for the day and Mark is nowhere to be found. So Annalisa claims that Mark told her that he was sick. He woke up and while he was leaving the house, Annalisa was like, where are you going? We're supposed to film. And he's like, oh yeah, just tell the producers I'm sick. And then he just slammed the door and left. And Annalisa did admit in that interview she did that I guess she woke Mark up that morning and told Mark that he needed to take care of something around the house. It was like a little chore she gave him. And instead of doing that when he woke up, he started playing like he was too sick to take care of that. And then next thing you know, he's leaving. At first, Mark told Annalisa to tell the producers that he was sick. And then he told Annalisa while he's walking out the door that he was going to make some money. And then Mark shows up and he is all sorts of pissed off. He said that Annalisa was a liar. He didn't feel good. And then he hurried up and left the house again and next thing you know he shows up seven eight hours later and he claims that he just got back from the hospital and he was rocking a brand new pair of expensive jays and he sits down with producers and the producers are like what's up he's like i went to the hospital because i was sick and they're like okay well what was wrong with you and he's like well i didn't find that out i ended up leaving and it's like okay i am not buying that at all that you went to the hospital but you couldn't even stay long enough to get your diagnosis like then what's the freaking point to go to the hospital to begin with i think this man is out here boosting that is just pure speculation but the fact he's like oh i gotta go make some money and the next thing you know he shows up with some new shoes 
I mean, he could have bought them himself. He could have stacked up his stimulus checks or maybe had some girls sending him some money in prison. But I also want to doubt if he was out here trying to do that to support himself because that seems to be all he knows is a criminal lifestyle. After Mark walked in their door, he went back to his room. He was in there for a few seconds and then he came out and he looked pissed off. And he pretty much told Annalisa and Veda straight to their face right in front of the cameras that he just went and looked underneath his bed and saw that there was dog crap and Annalisa wasn't buying it she's like okay I want you to show me and she demanded him to show her and he went in there and sure enough there was some fresh little pebbles that came right out of their dog and it looked like it was fresh it didn't look like it had been there for a while that's just something you gotta take to the chin apologize and say hey my dog had an accident I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't happen again but Mark had a valid reason to be upset I would be upset that I'm moving in somebody's house and there's literally dog crap literally feet away from where I'm sleeping but they tried to do what they could to make it right they cleaned it up and Mark still was not happy and Annalisa was like dude you need to change your attitude because you could still be in prison or you could be on the streets but we actually gave you a bed to sleep in and Mark's just coming up with all the reasons why their spot is not good enough for him and then he went and got himself a bowl of cereal and Annalisa was getting on to Mark and Mark was kind of playing Annalisa and Beta against each other he made them start fighting because they're in disagreement about what to do with Mark and Mark's just sitting there laughing having a little kiki and kaka about everything and Annalise was like you're just enjoying this aren't you and Mark just laughed even more in that evil little laugh and I think Loki he really is he was trying to act like uh, Annalise is a sociopath but like I said in my last video I've been saying I feel like Mark is a sociopath because he has zero empathy towards anyone else he doesn't try to be understanding towards anyone's situation and I had an ex-boyfriend like that he just like when you're pissed off they like to play games to make you as mad as possible and they get pleasure out of your pain and it's sick a sociopath typically shows no regard for right and wrong and ignores the rights and feelings of others and that is exactly what Mark does then Veda decided to sit down with Mark because Annalisa was clearly upset and she seems like she's one of those people that get very upset and she kind of needs a minute to cool down. So while she was doing that, Veda was trying to talk to Mark and he's like, look, at first I thought he was going to chew Mark a new one, like you better not talk to my wife like that and, you know, back up everything Annalisa was saying. But he told Mark, look, I feel like you need to be here. I feel like you're doing everything you're supposed to do. I'm like, M I don't understand why Beta was lying to the man like that. Because he has not done one single thing he is supposed to do yet. I think he still is just looking at Mark as one of his kids that he used to teach in special ed who don't know no better. But Mark knows better. He may be emotionally stunted because he went to prison so young and probably served are doing drugs so young but he's definitely not stupid then we see a preview for the next episode and Annalisa and Veda sit down with Mark in their yard and Annalisa was like hey you told me you wanted me to help you so I'm here to help you so let's get you set up with a job let's get you set up with some more resources she claimed that when she did get Mark out of jail. She claims that she even set him up with this guy that she knew to drive him around everywhere. So when we saw Mark pull up coming back from the hospital allegedly, it was Annalise's friend who was driving him around on top of that. So even when he's treating these people like dirt and not just living in their house, but he's using their friends to get around and do what he needs to do and just being so ungrateful all together. And Annalisa and Beta in their recent interview, Annalisa said that she mainly controls like you know, being the bad cop a lot of the times because she doesn't want to put the stress on Beta because apparently the man's had over like six plus strokes and he's had several heart attacks and his health is not in the best place right now. So she just doesn't want to do anything to stress him out anymore because she wants to see him live a long, healthy life. 
if I was Annalisa, I would be sitting marked down like, look, you got to make a decision. Do you want to be here in the condition this house is in now? We'll make sure there's no dog crap under the bed. And if you do, let me know. But if you accept this as your place to stay, then you got to quit complaining about it all the time and ruining everybody's day over it. Otherwise, if this place is too much for you, go kick rocks and find somewhere better since you think you can get somewhere better besides here so we don't have to deal with you being a little negative Nancy all the time. Like, he really needs to make a decision because he is just killing the vibe every single day. And I can't imagine how stressed out Annalisa and Beta are because this is ruining all the peace that they have in their home. And that is it for this video guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out my lashes at accordingtoamber.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.